Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Colmat, and today we're going to be resuming where we left off in the most recent episode of the permadeath save. Just to refresh your memory in case it's been a minute or just in case you haven't seen any of the other episodes, we had just gotten the recipe for antimatter and warp cells and we had already just crafted the warp drive for our ship. But of course as you can tell here I got damaged out in space looking for some of the materials so I'm going to have to repair this. And also, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the cape here. I don't know if you guys have ever had anything like this happen, but it's kind of a little bit goofy, but, you know, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. Anyways, looking at the ship, I'm mainly going to try to repair the things that we need to be repaired. So the rocket launcher and the shield probably won't get repaired right now, although this will be annoying to not repair. I believe I'm going to hold off just for the time being. So we're mainly looking at the pulse engine and obviously the warp drive. So I'm going to have to get some condensed carbon as well as it looks like some ferrite dust. Hopefully I have some of that on me. And we're going to need chromatic metal and a microprocessor. So it looks like we're running low on just about everything. We have a little bit of ferrite dust, but I'm going to have to go mine for some of that. So scouting around the planet a little bit. As you can see, I haven't walked too far away from my ship, but I've walked quite a bit. I may in fact be the unluckiest person when it comes to playing this game because I cannot seem to find any carbon anywhere. Um, it, there's a lot of these little bushes, but these bushes aren't giving me any carbon. So hopefully this isn't an issue where, you know, I'm just completely out of carbon. Obviously I can turn oxygen into carbon uh, if need be, but I'm also going to need oxygen to stay alive on this planet considering that there's not really any trees that maybe have a secondary source of oxygen. I'm probably going to hold on to this and just continue to look. Also, I'm being quite reckless. Since this is a low gravity planet, I have been not really watching fall damage. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. If it does, I'm sure editing me will probably throw some sort of clip in now. Nope. So we did get kind of lucky here. We have some, at least some condensed carbon. Oh man, okay, let's go ahead and repower this. Anyways. Yeah, we got a little bit lucky here. Oh no. Okay, so hopefully you guys saw that I accidentally shot an egg. I, I don't know why I didn't even realize that that's what that was. I guess I probably should have claimed it, but I was a little bit too scared of the... Uh, the little fellas that are chasing me can't remember what they're called hopefully this oh no okay okay we got to be a little bit more careful i'm so used to playing on anything other than permadeath that this just isn't i don't know it's not really working out for me right now and they are still chasing me unfortunately good news is we have quite a bit of jetpack right now so i'm not really too worried about the ground and in a lot of cases, it can recharge faster than it takes me to hit the ground. Okay, so I think we finally lost contact. Obviously, there is another egg. I want to make sure we don't do that again. So I'm going to head back over to this condensed carbon. And uh, see if we can go ahead and mine the rest of this. Okay, so we basically got it all to begin with. There is another egg I see down there, but we're going to try to avoid that. Go ahead and waste some carbon to refuel this. Might as well. And here's some big crystals. I don't know that these will be mineable. Yeah, I was afraid that was the case. These aren't mineable. Is there any small ones hanging around? Yeah, we do have some small ones that we can mine. I believe what I'm going to do since I'm so close to my ship is rather than refueling with oxygen, I'm going to try to see if I can make it there and just refuel the systems with oxygen instead. Actually, I don't know that that'll work because it is life support rather than, rather than biohazard. Yeah, so it looks like I am going to have to unfortunately use oxygen. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, that's fine. We got it. We got it refueled, and obviously, I'd already placed this down a few minutes ago, hoping that there would be some nearby carbon. We're gonna try to throw as little as possible. Oh no! Okay, it's already fueled. So we needed condensed carbon. I don't remember exactly how much it is for a hemorrhagic. So I want to say 25, 30. Okay. So we do have enough already. We're not even gonna condense that down. So let's go ahead and repair the pulse engine at least. 
and we're gonna need chromatic metal and a micro three micro processors i don't know that i have the plans for that yet yeah so we're gonna have to purchase the micro processors and what was the other i've already forgot a chromatic metal okay let's see what we can find hopefully we have some copper here on this planet i can't remember if i scouted this place out last time i played or not so we do have copper this is copper as well okay that's also copper and it's closer and do we have any yeah, we have a little bit of leftover oxygen so hmm i don't know whether i want to go over there and mine that since it's so far away or whether i want to just flop into space and see if i can sell some things and purchase you know what let's see if there's any oxygen nearby first of all so we do have a little bit nearby I know it uses it up faster if you jetpack boost, but it looked like it was only maybe one or two. Hopefully that's not the case. Okay, that is the case. It's only one. Anyways, I'm going to head over to the uh, copper deposit. I'll obviously, I'll cut out the stuff in between. So we got most of what was in here. Obviously, all that I really needed. It's kind of one of these that's got a lot of silicate powder mixed in, so I don't really care about leaving the rest of that there. That may bother some people, but for me, it's completely fine. And while we have that refining, I'm going to go ahead and check out what's in this cave. Normally, I'd try not to leave refiners behind, but I think this is still close enough that it really shouldn't matter. That, and I'm hoping that some of this plant life in here will have... Oh, so there actually was plant life. I don't know how I missed this originally. I was hoping that some of these would have oxygen as their second. Because just in case you didn't know, some of these, like whenever you see it where it has... Well, I'm trying to find one that I haven't scanned now. If you see something like this where it says pure ferrite and then you can analyze it, when you analyze or scan it, it's going to give you a secondary material. So that's very useful to know, especially if you're early game. I'm sure probably most people know that by now, or maybe even everyone knows that by now. But just in case you didn't, that's a really useful tip. Uh, but a lot of times, some of these, not necessarily the rocks, but the plant life a lot of time will have oxygen as its secondary source. Okay. The game is not being friendly with me right now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do here. Okay, we had more oxygen than I initially had thought. I thought I used all the oxygen. I guess that one little plant had gave me quite a bit back. So we might as well just go ahead and mine the carbon while we're here since we were running low anyways. And I was planning on exploring the rest of the cave, but since the plant life's wanting to be a little bit mean to me right now, I think I'll take that as a sign and just go ahead and dip. Hopefully our copper is condensed. Just about. We at least have enough. We'll go ahead and let the rest of that refine. I keep pressing the wrong button. It's been such a long time since I've used a controller on here. And then, of course, as we've stated, I'm going to need to purchase the microprocessors. Now, I don't know that I have enough money to purchase them. I have 101,000, so hopefully that's enough. And I'm also hoping that my ship is fueled up. Okay. That is unfortunate. So we need dihydrogen metal plating. Now, obviously, we're going to have... Okay, we actually have hydrogen as... Or, well, dihydrogen and... There, I dust right here, so perfect trying to see if I can get the rest of this material here, but this sentinel is, uh, he's not happy that I'm taking his material. He keeps coming over and investigating every so often. Now I know you can stand from a distance and hit these, and a lot of times the sentinel can't figure out exactly where it's being mined from, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of blends in with the blue grass here, so it's a little bit hard to see. I mean, obviously there's a crystal right there, I can see, but even then, yeah, he's still, he's still mad at me. I guess that wasn't far enough away. So we're just going to leave him be. Kind of not mess with him. I'd rather not go ahead and end the save here. So metal plating. We do need more ferrite dust. Unfortunately, I, it's, like I said, it's kind of hard to mine this whenever we have the police just uh, scanning every move we do. Hopefully we can get enough of this while he's got his back turned to us. Because so I think we only needed about 50. Or I think we needed exactly 50. So that should be enough. Go ahead and craft our metal plating. And is that it? Oh yeah, launch field though. 
Yes, so we do have our launch fuel. We're going to go ahead and take off. Now, at one, some point, I do want to try to get an explorer. I don't really like the way that the explorers look, per se. But I do like the fact that they take way less when taking off, especially in permadeath. Normally, it's not a big deal. Normally, I'll build a base on a planet with uranium. Power my ship with that. But obviously, I haven't really found a uranium planet yet. Okay, so on the way pulsing through the space station, I, I cut out some, obviously, because I didn't want to have to make you guys listen to the the sound over and over of the shields being down. We actually encountered the... This is for the pirate hood. It's the little side quest. So if you haven't ever done that, this is exactly how it happens. While you're pulsing, it'll just say anomaly detected. You'll pop out of it, and then you'll get this encounter here. Now, I don't know if there's a specific way to trigger it. For me, it's always been a few hours into a save, and after I've warped a few times, I don't know if that's the requirements or if that's just... So happen to be every time. And that's really it. So that starts the quest. Obviously from here you would just pull up your warp map. Uh, and then you would go to whatever is marked. So you can see it's right here next to me. Uh, that's probably where I'll go from here actually. Because I don't want to go too far away. Because there is that reset option on the quest markers. But sometimes it just doesn't want to work for me. So I'm not really going to mess with that and like get, you know, 20, 30 different systems away and then have to come all the way back here because I skipped the quest while it was active. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and just see how much these microprocessors cost. Again, I can't really remember and I'm wanting to say that the prices are adjusted in permadeath. I do like that. That's kind of nice how it's glitching through. You would think that they would make this a little bit wider or... I don't know, almost make the haulers have to land in different locations. Wow, this is a lot of haulers all at once. I do like haulers. I don't really like the look of these, per se, but haulers are definitely nice. They used to be a lot better, especially back whenever haulers were the only ones that could have as much storage. And I know they can still have more storage than standard ships now, but it's just, I don't know. Back in early No Man's Sky, they were really, really useful. So we're looking at 27,000 per microprocessor. I'm wanting to say it was three. It also could have been five. I just know it was an odd number. Okay, it was three. Lucky. That was really lucky because we only had enough to buy three. So now that we have that ready, we go ahead and prime our ship once we get back in it. And then go ahead and warp over to the next system. And again, we're going to go ahead and just jump over to the system with the pirate ship. Might as well go ahead and knock that out. That, and I don't believe the main quest is actually telling me to go to a specific system. I think it's just telling me to jump to another system, and then they'll make contact with me. I always thought that the warp in this game was pretty cool. I like how they took a different approach. Most movies or games try to take the same approach as like Star Wars, which, don't get me wrong, Star Wars is cool, but... I like that No Man's Sky chose its own sort of deal with the warp jump. That looks like it could be a potentially good planet. Okay, rainy planet, star bulb. Okay, that's not bad. I don't know exactly what that bottom is uh, down there talking about the sentinels. I've never really seen that one before, but I'll have to go check that planet out while I'm here. So, on most of these, you don't really have to do anything. You can remain silent or identify yourself. It's it's really, it's role-playing, so whatever you choose, whatever you would do if you were in the situation, it doesn't really matter what you say to them. Okay, so we do have the new coordinates, and we should also have coordinates for our, or unless that is the coordinate, no, that's for Awakening, so that's the main quest. It looks like, okay, cool, it's the same planet for both the Echo coordinates and for the main quest. 
So while we're here, again, oh, I just want to go ahead and knock this out. Also, think you get a free ship. No, you definitely get a free ship from from Artemis. Sorry if you haven't ever played the story, but you do definitely get a free ship right here. Um, now, I don't know. Used to, I was thinking that it was random, but it seems like every time I've done this recently, it's always been an explorer. I don't know if that's guaranteed, but hopefully in our case it is because, again, I want an explorer. They're better on uh, gas mileage, if you will. And so, just in case I haven't ever said this, it's telling me the coordinates are right here. Obviously, with main, these main story quests, you want to kind of fly around looking before you land. So, for me, it's right here. It definitely is an explorer, which is nice. And it's a symmetrical explorer, which is even nicer because I can't stand them whenever they are two different wings. I don't know. Maybe that's just a weird thing for me, but I just I can't stand it if they're not the same. Plus, it's green, which is kind of nice. Not a huge fan of the, like, I don't know, eyeball looking at thrusters but it'll work and it's a b-class so it's an upgrade now it's quite damaged so i don't know necessarily that it's an upgrade but we'll, we'll see what we can do we'll definitely go ahead and claim it because we can claim it for free i believe we have it's like i want to say five slots unless they've upped it since the last time i've got into my fleet but once we get a freighter this would automatically be stored there as well So we did, we got lucky. We actually had materials for once. Okay, so now we have the plans for the advanced mining beam. Now, as far as I know, we don't actually have to install this right now, but we might as well, so that way it quits prompting us to install it. Oh, did it not install? There we go, yeah, because we definitely don't have the materials, and I know I don't have enough for a wiring loom right now. So we're going to hold off on that and see what the main quest is telling us to do. So this should be where we unlock the anomaly, if I'm not mistaken. We should just be able to fly into space, and then we'll hear back from... Um, can't even think of their names. Polo and Nada, I want to say. Yes, yes, Polo and Nada. I always get it confused. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the channel Nolo Pata, so I, I get it confused with his channel a lot whenever I'm thinking of their names. But as you can see, I mean, we've made it to the anomaly at long last. Let's see if we have any cool looking ships in here. Any other players? I believe I have everything turned on the way it's supposed to be yeah it's enabled but I might want to turn PvP off I know sometimes people control a little bit in permadeath and they'll go in here blowing other people up glitching through it unless that's been patched but I'd rather not chance it I'm trying to see if I could see whose name that was far from normal I feel that, brother. Now, obviously, from here, if we wanted to, I could go through and claim the S-Class ship. I'm trying to see if I can find it. We are going to claim some of these items. So, the exotic wing pack, the exotic armor. But, yeah, we could claim the golden vector if we wanted to. I don't know that I want to do that because I feel like that would be a little too cheap. Let me know down in the comments if you think that I should or shouldn't do that. Because I can always come back and grab these later. Now that we have it unlocked. Uh, trying to see if there's any other items that I care about. Because I do want to get the Normandy. Uh, once we have a Raider. I will definitely be claiming that. As well as... I want to say... You can also get... Yeah, an organic. I don't know why that's just... The organic frigate. I definitely am going to claim the frigates. That's for sure. I think we're good for here, like for now. The rest of this seems to be banners and then eggs. I don't really care too much about the eggs at the moment. We will grab the trails that I can see. Okay, yeah, we went over everything. 
And then I believe, also let me speak with them again. I want to say they've made it now where any Quicksilver items that have been purchased can stay. Maybe not. Okay, no, yeah, they definitely have. So we're going to claim everything in here that's available. I still have a lot of stuff to purchase, but I mainly try to go for the armor. And then obviously, I do like some of these others. I want to say there was a ship trail that I also had in here. The rainbow one to match the jetpack trail that I had. Uh, maybe not. I, I definitely seen the jetpack trail because I claimed it. But I'm not seeing the other. We'll go ahead and claim these. Yeah, these, if you don't know, when you add them into your ship, they actually give you bonuses if you have them close together. As for what exactly each one does, I can't remember that off the top of my head, but... But yeah, all the figurines that you can find... Okay, there we go. Chromatic Starship Trail. I knew I had it. I just, for some reason, it's like it wasn't there. Michael! Don't leave me here! Michael! Michael! Help me! Okay, I think that's everything. And with the Starship Trails, in case you're curious how those work if you've never used them before, you actually have to install them inside the ship but they only cost ferrite dust obviously for some reason i don't have starship or i don't have ferrite dust 90 percent of the time i have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about but we'll get we'll get that installed next time we're down on a planet we need to go ahead and speak with the two nada up here also if this is your first time coming to the anomaly make sure that you do not speak with anybody else because you actually can get rewards from this guy over here as well as this person. Uh, they'll give you rewards, nanites typically. Uh, and then once you get your first starship, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's the thing you purchase from the black market guy in order to find the derelict freighters. After you purchase your first one, uh, Helios will typically give you one per day, I want to say it is. Uh, so it's really useful if you're not like farming them and you're just doing them every so often it's really nice to come in here swing by and grab one but again you want to speak with nada and polo first then you'll go back and speak with them so we're going to ask about artemis i'm trying to leave these up as long as possible to let you guys read it just in case you never have played no man's sky or just in case you just didn't read it when you did play it But I'm also trying to not to leave it up like too, too long. Because I know some people are, are faster readers than me. Uh, and I don't want to leave it up so long that you're getting annoyed with me. Okay. And so this is the last option we have. So we go ahead and leave. Now we should speak with Polo. I always think Polo is kind of cool. The Gex always look super friendly. Uh, obviously, I've said before, my favorite race is the Corvax. I know they're like a hive mind, but still, they just look really cool. Uh, so that's why I typically always make my character look like them. Okay, so now we just need to go speak with some of the people on the Anomaly. So yeah, now it's telling me to speak with Helios. If I would have spoken with Helios first, this option would have, for some reason, been locked out even if you speak with him. But... Oh, well, unless they fixed it. This was an issue that I've had, like, for the past probably six or seven months. Now, again, they may have fixed it since the last time I've done a new save. I'm one of those people that likes to make new saves every so often. Just, I don't know. I'll, I'll beat the main story, and then I'll start over again. Because this is one of those games where it truly feels different every time you play it. Just because of, like, the randomness of the planets and the ships and the multi-tools that you can get. I don't know. It's just always so fun to me. Okay, so now we do speak with Selene. We can also check and see what multi-tools we have available. Hopefully it's something good. I know sometimes these multi-tools can be really ugly, but I'm hoping that this one's at least cool. I think it's always C-Class, but 
you know, if you could find one that looks cooler. Yeah, it's not really cooler, and it doesn't even have more slots. If it would have been like a bigger multi-tool, or like an alien multi-tool, I probably would have still bought it. Or, well, I would have thought about buying it, because I don't have money. So, I would have, I would have looked at it with the intent to purchase. And we have a little bit of nanites here, so mainly, the main things that I always look for when you come in here... Is going to be the personal refiner now you do unfortunately have to purchase the hazmat gauntlets first in order to buy the personal refiner but you know if you're someone who uses these anyways and it's not really that big of a deal i don't typically pick up the flora the hazardous flora uh, so to me these are always a waste and it's unfortunate that i have to purchase them first but that's always one of the good things to go for another really good one to go for is these oxygen ones here as well as the any jetpack upgrades besides maybe rocket boots i know rocket boots i've tried to use them in the past especially i've played in vr and they're not that great uh, and then the translators are also really good i know some people say just to use the last one but i like to use all three just to learn as many words as possible but we'll go ahead and purchase the uh, hazmat gauntlets okay so now we can install that if we wanted to i don't really want to so Let's see if we have anything else. We don't have any salvage data, but we maybe can buy something for our ship. Hmm, okay, yeah. So we definitely can purchase some stuff for the ship. I'm probably going to hold off on this just for now because... Simply because the ship that we have is kind of broken down. I'd rather wait until we get a good, good ship before I start buying any of this. I'm a huge fan, actually, of the uh, phase beam. I know a lot of people don't like the phase beam, but I think it's kind of cool. But yeah, we'll definitely be coming back for these because I want the different drives uh, as well as the different hopper drives as well. These will help us get further, also go to different systems, and then eventually we'll come back and get the all the scanners, especially this cargo scanner. It's kind of unfortunate, again, that it's locked at the bottom, but this one is super useful if you do any pirating. Uh, if you don't do pirating, obviously it's not really not really worth it at all in that case, but that's typically how I try to make most of my money, just by blowing up other ships. Kind of wandered around for a minute, figuring out what to do, because I had it still stuck to this. It just kept telling me to explore. Uh, eventually, I figured out I needed to go back into the log and swap it back over to Space Anomaly. I don't know why I swapped that off for, but anyways, we go speak with Nada now, and he should give us some Quicksilver. Maybe not the first time, but I know he normally gives you Quicksilver and Nanites every time you come speak with him. Okay, so here is a good part to, in case you're curious, on what these things will do. So ask about exploration. I'm not entirely sure what ask about exploration does. I'm wanting to say that is maybe for black holes. Crimson Layer is if you want to do the main part with the can't think what they're called the atlas stations uh, if you want to speak with them you'll hit crimson layer and then artemis is for the main storyline as far as i know you can select all of these but you only want to select the ones that you're wanting to do so in my case i'm wanting to continue with the main story i'm going to do artemis what bro what are you talking about man and now we just need to return to space anyways guys i think this is where i'm going to end it today Hopefully this was entertaining. If it was, consider leaving a like. And if you enjoy this style of content or just want to see what happens in the next episode, consider subscribing. If for some reason you didn't like the video, leave a comment down below telling me what exactly I did wrong or what I can change in future videos to make it a little bit more entertaining. And just really quick before I go, I do want to mention something that I have hinted at in the previous videos. If you've watched the last two videos I've uploaded, and that is that I do want to get in live streaming soon. Now, I've kind of been a little bit iffy about when and what I'll be live streaming, but I think I've kind of narrowed it down. I'm wanting to do either a Iron Man challenge. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, Jason Plays is a really good channel to check out. Uh, I don't know if he's the one that invented the Iron Man challenge, but he was the only person I've ever seen do it, and it's a really cool challenge. Basically, you stay in one single planet, and you try to get every single upgrade for your exosuit without leaving. Or the other option is a like a no starter ship challenge. Uh, that one I also want to do. I think that one's probably a little bit more higher priority. But 
just let me know down in the comments which one you guys would rather see and as far as like a date wise goes i'm wanting to try to stream maybe sometime mid next week i don't know i really want to stream tomorrow which would be for me uh sunday sunday the the ninth but i don't know i haven't really decided yet i'm still a little bit nervous about live streaming so i, I don't know uh, i'm trying to build up my courage in order to live stream it's a little bit different whenever you're speaking like live with people rather than uh, in these videos edited so I'll figure that part out, but just leave a comment down below on which one of those two you would rather want to see, uh, and I will have it posted probably, I don't know, probably a day or two beforehand uh, on when exactly I'm going to stream, like what time and I guess what day, uh, because if it's going to be throughout the week, I may try to do it earlier in the day, uh, if it's weekend, so if I end up doing it tomorrow, well obviously you wouldn't have a heads up, but if I did do it tomorrow, it would be uh, kind of a little bit later. And I say tomorrow, by the time this video's up, it'll probably be the same day. Anyways, guys, I don't know. I've been babbling on for a little bit too long here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cole Matt. Peace out.